Today, we will talk about how to get blurbs for your book and use them in your marketing. This is derived from information uh, issued by uh, Diana Urban from bookbub.com. And this was an absolutely fabulous article that first of all talked about why you should have blurbs for your book. Um, they help to attract readers to your book and the tests that they did showed that blurbs were very effective in making a book more appealing to readers. Uh, they did some A-B testing and discovered that uh, book blurbs from other authors were more effective than book blurbs from publications. However, um, a book blurb from a publication is better than no book blurb at all. Um, where should you put a book blurb? Um, it should be uh, a short and sweet book blurb that can be put on the front cover of your book. And I will give you, uh, I will screen share for a moment to show in the article what, um, uh, what exactly it looked like. Give me just a moment here. I'm going to screen share now and show you uh, their uh, page, on their page, what um, they figure your book blurb should look like. So you can see here that um, the book blurbs that are in the example on their article um, are very short. US Today bestselling author, and it has a book blurb down here. Um, Lutz knows how to make you shudder, and then the author's name of who gave that blurb. This one here, A Gripping Tale of Adultery and Illusion by uh, the Evening Herald. And this one here was mind blowing by Stephen King. So those are all very short, very sweet blurbs that you can use. They go on to say that it isn't just on the cover of your book that you should use a blurb. You should also um, make that uh, highlighted on um, like if you're on Amazon. Uh, the very first line of your book description. And typically Amazon will allow that to be bolded so it really stands out. And uh, if you have a book blurb, it should be uh, on the header of your website. It should be on the header of your social media sites. It uh, should be, on, if, you use book, if you use bookmarks or uh, business cards, it should be on those. It should be on any paid advertising that you do. So a book blurb isn't just something that you put on the cover of your book. They're uh, wonderful to have. Um, even if the authors that you have, uh, you know, it's not a Stephen King, it's not a Nora Roberts, but you know, uh, whoever writes it probably has their own uh, reader list. And it might be that they would be willing to do a book swap uh, for their newsletter and your newsletter. That would in, uh, be very beneficial for both of you. The article, and I will put the link below uh, this post, the article also gives a template for um, a query email. Um, they suggest looking at their Facebook page, their web page, their Twitter to try and find their email. But if those are not successful, I have also added a few links for other ways of finding emails for uh, authors and uh, any other type of business for that matter. So I hope you find this uh, very informative and interesting, and I hope that you give it a try because uh, it has been very nice for me to have um, a book blurb from um, a well-known uh, romance author, and uh, you may find it very beneficial for you too. Thank you.